Los Angeles, September 5th. In Italian director Emanuele Kralesi's latest drama, La Mensita, that is set in the 1970s in Rome, Penelope Cruz plays a mother of three who, after struggling with an abusive Italian husband, ends up in an institution for psychiatric disorders. I do not think my character is insane at all, Cruz said. According to Variety, she is trapped in her family. She is trapped in her house, in her body, in the circumstance in which she is living. She does not have a plan B. There is no way out, she added. She's not insane at all. She's being abused in various ways. And she simply cannot endure it any longer. There are a lot of women all over the world in their own homes who play in the eyes of their kids. They pretend that things aren't as bad. They do this in order to survive. Cruz added she has, I have played a lot of mothers. I've produced seven movies with Pedro and in five of them, I'm a mother. This isn't an accident. I have a strong maternal instinct. I am also intrigued by the events that take place in all families. Domestic violence is only one of many important issues addressed in the film, La Mensita. It is based on Kryalese's memories of his family's difficult life, with regards to his violent, close-minded father and his experience of transitioning from female to male in the early days of. In the film The Film, the oldest of the kids in the family is a girl of 12 years old named Adriana who is aspiring to become a boy. She refuses to accept her name and gender identity. This is a breach in the family's harmony. Although not entirely autobiographical, Adriana is based on Kryalese's experiences. My journey, transitioning from female to male, is quite different from the experience of children in the present, the director said. The most important thing was to be able to transform the suffering. The method I used to achieve that was to write stories. Kryalese added, at some point, I had to make a decision of whether to continue living or die. You don't make this choice. You're born this way. I don't have any memory of my own in which I thought I was differently from the person I am now, a male. It's not an option. That's how you get into the world. DC, DPB 888 trillion 11 billion 110,888 Los Angeles, September 5th. In Italian director Emanuele Kryalese's new drama, La Mensita, which is set in 1970s Rome, Penelope Cruz plays a mother of three who, while contending with a violent Italian husband, winds up in a psychiatric institution. I don't think my character is crazy at all, Cruz said, reports, Variety, she is trapped in her family. Trapped in her home, in her body. In the situation in which she finds herself living. She doesn't have a plan B. There is no escape, she added. She's not crazy at all. She's oppressed in many different ways. And she simply can't take it anymore. There are many women around the world trapped in their homes, who pretend in front of their children. They try to pretend that things aren't that bad. They do this to survive. Cruz also pointed out that, I have played so many mothers. I've made seven films with Pedro, and in five of them I play a mother. That's not a coincidence. I have a very strong maternal sense. And I am fascinated by what happens in every family. Domestic violence is just one of several crucial issues tackled by La Mensita, which is based on Kryalese's memory of his difficult family life, with regards to his violent, close-minded father, and his experience transitioning from female to male in those days. In the movie, the oldest of the children in the family is a 12-year-old girl named Adriana who wants to be a boy. She rejects her name and gender identity. This obstinacy as the fragile family's balance, Though not strictly autobiographical, Adriana is based on Kryalese's memories. My journey, transitioning from female to male, is very different from the journey of kids today, the director said. The important thing has been to manage to transform that pain. And the way I did that was to create stories, Kryalese added. At a certain point I had to make a choice of whether to go on living or to die. You don't choose to make that journey. You are born that way. I don't have any memories of myself in which I perceived myself differently from what I have become, a male. It's not a choice. That's how you come into the world. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.